you, along with three million others, will embark on this epic race of fertilization to create a new life. The odds are stacked against you. During sexual intercourse, millions of sperm are released into the vagina. As you look around, you will see that many have already died due to the acidic environment present here. Luckily, you have survived thanks to the protective qualities of the fluid surrounding you. Look, the cervix is up ahead. Usually, it remains tightly shut, however, it opens for a few days during ovulation. Typical mucus is thinned during this time, so you will have an easier time swimming through, but don't take it too easy. Millions can get trapped in what's known as the cervical crypts. They may be able to swim free later and rejoin the race. As you enter the uterus, watch out for white blood cells. They will treat you as an unwanted invader. It looks like they have already claimed the lives of some unfortunate ones. Coming up are the fallopian tubes. Make sure you can choose the tube containing the egg. Half will swim into the empty tube and never return. At this point in the journey, only a few thousand of you remain. The end is almost in sight. You'll have to swim hard against this current caused by tiny hair-like structures called cilia. They are wafting the egg towards the uterus. Molecules present here in the reproductive tract signal for sperm to become hyperactive. It's time for you to swim as hard as possible for the last stretch. Finally, the egg. Only a few dozen make it here. The layer of cells surrounding the egg is called the corona radiata. You must swim through this to reach the outer layer of the egg, the zona pellicida. As you reach the outer layer, you will bind to specialized receptors on the surface. This will signal digestive enzymes, called acrosomes, to be released, which will break down the outer layer, allowing you to pass through. You've done it. As the first to make contact with the egg cell membrane, you have fertilized the egg. You will now fuse with the egg and be pulled inside the cell. Once this happens, there is no going back. Another sperm can't fertilize the egg. The production of this fertilization is a cell known as zygote. This is the earliest of the developmental stages. Your genetic material reforms into 23 chromosome pairs. This will then combine with X corresponding 23 chromosomes, providing the zygote with all the information necessary to transform this single cell into the human body. Over a few months, the fetus can form from just a single cell. The fetus will continue to mature over nine months until it's time to embark on a new journey. 